Hey YouTube, this is Ozark's brother Jerry, and I thought I'd do a video on my uh, radiation meter. I've had it for a couple months. Uh, I had the old, the old yellow civil defense meters. Well, I still got a couple of them from uh, Canada. Maybe we'll do a comparison of those sometime, or or maybe I'll just do a video on those. But I've been looking for a solid state one, that uh, you know, an electronic one that would be really reliable. And uh, this one's pretty cool. It, it charges off uh, off the port of your uh, your PC or any of the mirrored of uh, transformer things you have. You know, the, for, for the uh, five volts for the PC. But uh, so why you know why have a radiation meter? Some people might think that's a bit over the top. But you know we have we have some potential threats. Of course, we have North Korea. They're making a lot of hullabaloo over that. I personally don't think he can lob one over here, certainly with any uh, accuracy. I think his, his goal would be to take out South Korea and Japan, if anything. But uh, and I think I do believe personally in the end it'll be China and Russia against us. And if you have some intel, like heaven forbid the news actually put out some news that there's a potential dirty bomb, you know, around you could, you know, you could you could check that yourself. So. Uh, you know, the, uh, the federal government exists for the sole purpose of defending our liberties. Well, we don't, we don't see a lot of that defense, at least I don't. And the fundamental role of any government is to defend the lives of its citizens. But uh, when Fukushima went off, what they do when the radiation started hitting California? You know, they, they turned off the radiation meters. Now, I'm sure the, the feds had their own meters and they knew what was going on. But uh, I don't know how, we would, how I would have access to that. So. I just assume to be able to, to look at that myself. And in addition, you have that uh, Deagle report from CIA that allegedly from the CIA, a Deagle a CIA contractor made like last year that predicts by uh, 2025 the United States will be down to uh, 54 million people. So that's that's something pretty cataclysmic, if, if that's true, that they anticipate happening. And then that would be in line with the uh, with a, uh, a nuclear bomb and I, and I don't think you know these people say they'd rather die so they'll go outside and you know let the nuke hit them but there are there are people downtown uh, either Nagasaki yeah Nagasaki I believe that they were they were in a basement for two weeks and uh, they survived and I think that's the key I see that a lot is they staying underground for two weeks so uh, so let's go in and take a look at the meter So what I have here is the, uh, here's the meter, and uh, here's a pretty neat little card that it comes with, and uh, it tells you what to do, like, uh, and then you can change units, but I just, left, I just leave it in the counts per minute, the CPM, all the way to the left. So at 5 to 50, it's normal background radiation, so uh, you don't have to do anything, and then he, you don't have to really worry about things till it gets over over 99 so uh, so let's turn it on oh and by the way these retail for anywhere from 99 to 130 bucks depends where you buy it but uh so let's turn this thing on let me oh yeah yeah it's here it goes through a self check and and it's going to measure the ambient uh, radiation. And this is what it usually gets to is like uh, 10 or 12 counts per minute and I know that because I've used it enough so now I've got some uranium ore which with direct contact it's supposed to give me 500 to 2,000 counts per minute now it's in a glass tube and that and the 500 to 2,000 is uh, direct contact but I'm gonna leave it in a jar because I don't really know how to handle radiate 
radioactive material. Now the uh, the glass will stop the alpha particles and the beta particles, but uh, the ga the gamma is actually electromagnetic radiation, so it's going to come through. So let's not have direct contact, but let's see how many counts per minute we get. Uh, primarily from the gamma, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna lay it on it. Okay. So like I said, I, I've never seen before I got that uranium ore, and that's three and a half grams. Uh, I had never seen this thing go over 20 counts per minute. So I'm going to let it see. Well, also this does data logging, so you can hook it up to a computer via the USB cable, and uh, you know you can look at the radiation over a given time period. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna let this thing run a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, so I I uh, fixed it so that, that the tube of uh, uranium ore is underneath the collector tube of the detector. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's going up. So uh, whenever it hits 100 counts per minute, the audio alarm starts coming on. So overall, I mean, as far as I can tell, and I've worked with instrumentation. I was electronics tech for years, so uh, I, I'm I feel pretty good that this thing works. So, and like I said, had I taken it out of the tube, I think we'd be hitting that 500 to 2,000. And you buy this ore from uh, you buy this ore from United Nuclear online. And uh, you get a, a certificate of authenticity with it that tells what it should be measuring. So, and this detector is made, I, I don't know if it's just marketed by this GQ Electronics or if that's uh, who actually makes it. But uh, I'll conclude the video with that. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it and I've, I feel a little more prepared than, than with those uh, old yellow civil defense meters. But I am, I am going to compare them to this. So, have a good day.